I'm not sure if you've heard, but Finn Balor is now the longest reigning NXT champion of all time. Yeah, I know. And it's not hard to be a record-breaking champion when your contract says all your title defenses must have a five-minute time limit. But remind me again who allowed that to happen. I regret letting that slip through the cracks, but I'm trying to fix it, which is why I wanted to talk to you. Are you giving me an NXT title opportunity? I wouldn't say giving. Because of Finn's unique time limit stipulation, I'll only choose his next challenger if they can first prove that they can beat another top opponent in under five minutes. Sort of like a tryout match, huh? Something like that. So, what do you think? Do you want to give this a shot or no? Someone has to put an end to this, and I want to be the one who does. Splendid. I'll line up your opponent for the five-minute trial run. Let's see what you can do. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Japan, weighing in at 178 pounds, the Dragon, Daniel Corti. No one ever thought he'd leave pro football, but when he experienced the rush of competing in the ring, his focus changed. Trading football cleats for wrestling boots was a bold move, but he's a natural competitor who's driven to reach the top of WWE. Wow, feast your eyes. A one-of-a-kind Croatian Titan, ready to stomp out the opposition. And his opponent from Kingsboro, Massachusetts, weighing in at 270 pounds, Dominic Dijakovic. Oh, he endeared himself to the WWE Universe and his peers with classic NXT matches. Dijakovic earned incredible respect through his hard work. A remarkable blend of size and agility. Yeah, he moves like a man half his size. Yeah, Dijakovic can also take to the skies. That makes him a rather intimidating opponent. Every second counts tonight in this five-minute trial match during an NXT Championship opportunity. Rio Ligo's hand-picked candidate isn't just fighting Dominic Dijakovic. He's fighting Finn Balor's clock. Every night in NXT is a fight against the clock, Saxon. You never know how much time you have to make it to the top. Elbow drop. Great height. And Dijakovic escapes danger. Got him set up in the corner of the ring. Huge toss. Big forearm. Knee strike to the back. That don't even wake you up or knock you out. This match grinded him down a little. Dodges the attack. 
Just a smidge quicker. Big elbow drop. Oh, a debilitating elbow drop. And an overbearing amount of offense against Dijakovic here. Dijakovic in desperate need of turning things around. We've already seen a few shots delivered up in that region. He's a projectile now. Coming back in the ring. Look at. He was elusive there. Big forearm, but wait a minute. Oh, and a rebound, Larry. Check, please. Wicked kick to the face. Cover, cover. One, two. Just gets the shoulder up. He really thought that was it. Dijakovic's in a state of distress. Yeah, Dijakovic needs to gauge the situation better than he is. Dijakovic steers clear there. Hammerlock applied. This next sit out spybuster. He can't take any more of this. Yeah, not looking good at all. Oh, the bell crap from behind. The face buster knee smash. That looks painful. And it's another attack above the shoulders. Gotta protect that region or the lights can go out fast. Springbok misses the target. Boom! Double down. Ouch. And now he's taking control. Things are playing out exactly how he envisioned. Oh, oh, oh. no! Oh, no! That could end Dijakovic's night. So perhaps the perfect match. Never any doubt in this win. Never a doubt. Barely a moment's suspense. This one was about as lopsided as they come. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Japan, weighing in at 178 pounds, the Dragon, Daniel Corgi. After bouncing around pro football, this guy learned how many athletes went from the gridiron to WWE and found a new dream to chase. His move from the field to the ring has been nothing short of impressive. Mendoza is here, an impressive talent with a bit of an attitude. It's the right attitude if you ask me, Saxton. And his opponent, representing Legado del Fantasma from Cordoba, Veracruz, Mexico, weighing in at 190 pounds, Raul Mendoza. Well, here 
here's a man who grew up idolizing Eddie Guerrero. Well, Mendoza and Legato Del Fantasma continue to carry the torch of the lie, cheat, and steal mentality. Well, he made his debut at 15 years old, over a decade, wrestling in Mexico and Japan. He brings his devastating hybrid of lucha libre and technical skills to every match he competes in. As if this match wasn't compelling enough, when you throw in the no disqualification stipulation, it gets even better. These competitors can use barricades, steel stairs, announce tables, heck, even outside interference. Nothing is off limits here, and they will let their imaginations run wild. You're right, Corey. This is hardcore all the way, and the WWE Universe can't get enough of it. We have company. It's the NXT champion, Finn Balor, here to scout his future opponent. Yeah, but where is he? Playing mind games, I guess. Finn's behind him. Look out. And he was able to turn that around. Here. You gotta wonder, what does this do to Mendoza's confidence? Big elbow drop. What a shot! Now he's been put on the defensive.
To say this matchup has been highly anticipated is a huge understatement. These superstars have trained rigorously, all for the right and honor to walk out of this arena with the NXT Championship around their waist. The Prince has arrived. A decorated champion who has truly reinvented himself. The first ever Universal Champion, a multiple time Intercontinental Champion, NXT titles. What can't the Prince do? Well, it seems like year after year, Finn Balor just reaches greater heights in his career. You know, I don't know if it's just me, or does Finn Balor just keep getting cooler every year? Saxon, when it comes to being cool, you are one man I will never ask. You can see the intense focus and drive in the eyes of Finn Balor. When it comes to Finn Balor, it's always about competing at the highest of levels. Introducing the challenger from Japan, weighing in at 178 pounds, the Dragon, Daniel Corgi. And introducing the champion from Bray County, Wicklow, Ireland, weighing in at 190 pounds, he is the end. Defended all across the globe on sold out takeovers. This NXT title has a lot of prestige. Set your watches because only five minutes separates the challenger from Finn Balor's NXT Championship. Finn is defending his title against a superstar who truly believes it's his time. Maybe, but it's going to be hard to beat Finn Balor in his own game. And remember, Balor just has to outlast the clock to hang on to his NXT Championship. His opponent has to win, and time's ticking. Nightmare takedown. Smart attacking the arm. Just punched him right in the mouth. Oh, Relentless. Gosh. Enough already. What a shot. Oh, there's a 
response against Finn. Dropping the elbow. And Finn was ready for that. Sling blade by Finn Balor. Oh, God, that hurt. The challenger's looking shaken. Oh, that hurt to the spine. Picking the spot. Oh, to the arm. Terrible. Good timing with that reversal. Boom. Boot. Nice. Uh-oh, arms are trapped. No way to protect themselves. Oh, stop it! the stop it! the stop. Jeez. Let's hear what our brand new NXT champion has to say. I stand here before you tonight as proof that a lot can happen in five minutes. That's all the time it took for my life and the course of NXT history to be changed forever. And whether you like me or not, I can promise you one thing. You're gonna get a whole lot more than five minutes of me. Hold on. We know what this means. We thought we were about to see Demon Finn Balor, but what is this? It appears to be some kind of demon spawn, for lack of a better term. Whatever it is, it can't be good for the NXT champion. And these demon minions are swarming the champion. They're tearing him to pieces. This was clearly a message from Finn Balor that their issue is far from over. And there he is, the demon himself, Finn Balor, here to survey the damage that his minions delivered. And those minions just scattered. Like, even they were afraid of the demon. I've never seen anything like this. Our 
NXT champion thought he'd conquered Finn Balor, thought that he had dethroned the Prince, but now he's dealing with an entirely different beast. That's right, Corey. And from what we just witnessed, I think we might be looking at a very short NXT championship reign. I apologize, but I'm about to tell you about your first NXT title defense before I've even had the chance to formally congratulate you on becoming champion. It's not ideal. Let me guess. I'm facing Demon Finn Balor. Yes, if his coordinated attack on you wasn't clear enough, he's demanding a no disqualification rematch against you at NXT TakeOver. And before you say anything, he did indeed have a rematch clause where he got to pick the stipulation and I'm fully aware of the missteps we made with his contract. Well, as long as you know it. I can offer some advice if you'll take it. If you want your title reign to last longer than one match, I suggest you go and speak to the only man who ever defeated the demon, Samoa Joe. Thanks for agreeing to meet with me. You came to my show wasn't that big of a deal. Well, either way, I'm not going to waste your time with small talk. I'm here because I want to know how to defeat Demon Finn Balor, and you're the only man who's ever done it. I figured that's what this was all about. You know, not a day goes by where I don't think about how I nailed that painted up freak with a muscle buster and then pinned him in the ring. One, two, three. It sounds like it really made an impact on you. No, not really. It just seemed like you were hoping for that kind of vibe. But I really haven't thought about it too much since it happened. Okay. So then do you at least have any advice on how I could take him down? I have an idea. But first, I want a favor from you in return. I've been battling Braun Strowman for a while. It could gain a bit of an edge if you help me out. And how would I do that? Braun's got a match tonight. Jump him on his entrance. If it was me doing it, he'd be ready. But he'll never expect it coming from you. I'll do it. Whatever risk I take going after Braun is worth any advantage I can gain against Finn. All right. I'll be watching. What the heck? What's he doing here? More importantly, what's he doing attacking Braun Strowman? Is he insane? We have an NXT superstar attacking the monster among men on Raw. All hell is broken loose. I can't believe you actually did it. That took some major guts, which you'll also need to take down Demon Finn. So what can I do that will help secure the win? Is there something about the muscle buster that targeted some unknown weakness? Or do I need to find my inner demon to counter his? No, none of that. You took out Braun, so I'll return the favor and take out Finn in your title match. That's it? That's it. I guess I was expecting something deeper, or a little more... unexpected. Do you want my help, or no? As much as I want to defeat the demon, and guarantee that I hold on to my championship, I'd rather do it on my own than winning in some cheap way. There's nothing cheap about winning at all costs. But if you want to take some kind of moral high ground, suit yourself. Saves me the trip to take over. The following contest 
is scheduled for one fall and is for the NXT Championship. This is it, guys. The title is up for grabs here. And this might be the most highly anticipated title defense in recent memory. The demon has awakened. Finn Balor will always be known as the first ever WWE Universal Champion. After an incredible match with Seth Rollins at SummerSlam, Finn Balor forced to relinquish the title the next day due to injury. But Finn Balor continues to grow his legend here in WWE. There are cruel intentions on the face of the demon. I've followed Finn Balor's career for many years. I've gotten to know the man well. But believe me when I say I see someone completely different tonight in the demon. Well, the WWE Universe is well aware that they are seeing something extremely special here tonight. Introducing the challenger, the Demon!
And introducing the champion from Japan, weighing in at 178 pounds, he is the NXT Champion, the Dragon, Daniel Corgi. It's time for our NXT Championship match, and the atmosphere is simply indescribable. The NXT Champion is about to defend his title in a no disqualification match against one of the most unstoppable opponents of all time, Demon Finn Balor. The champ has proven he's not afraid of monsters after attacking the monster among men, so I like his chances to defend his title tonight. Jumping Braun Strowman during his entrance is one thing, but facing off against the demon Finn Balor for an entire match, those are two completely different animals, Saxton. Ooh, enough already. He must have had that scouted. Boom, bionic elbow. What's his plan here? Finn gets stopped in his tracks. A face buster knee smash. That looks painful. Climbs back into the ring. What's he open to find down there? Of all the toys underneath the ring, he just had to go with the one that ensures splinters. Absolutely no telling what's underneath the ring tonight. He's thinking a steel chair is just what he needs to wreak some havoc here. Good night. And a headbutt to the groin. That was low. Man, hold on. The Monster One Man is here at NXT TakeOver. And if I had to guess, Braun's here for revenge on the superstar who jumped him on Raw. It's hard enough to beat a demon, but now he's got to deal with a monster too? Returning fire. Fire it comes. The fire A continuous attack on Strowman. Well, you don't often have your way with Braun like this. Yeah. Saw it coming. Answering back. He isn't allowing that burst of attacks to finish him. And this might not have a pleasant ending. Slip behind, right to the left knee. And he's keeping the pressure on. Yeah, but he's always one counter away from changing things. He's able to sidestep there. He gets set down to the floor. Just like that. Braun gets pounced on. Back elbow. Stop after stop. Relentless. The adrenaline. There's not much room out there. DDT face first. Balor's lost momentum here. Finn is being worked on heavily. He'll take things into the ring. Oh my goodness, the oh! These are dangerous attacks on their own, but now the damage is exponentially multiplied. Balor shows the wherewithal. Some dangerous redecorating. I think the table really ties it all together. There he goes, right into the corner. Looking a little out of it, up on that turn. Look at this agility. Balor retaliates. And that might be 
the start of the momentum swing Balor needed. Could be what Balor needed to ignite a rally. That one fails to land. Missed the mark. Up on the turnbuckle now. Place on the top turnbuckle. Back to their competitor. The stomp in every single part of his body. And Balor's being picked apart now. Finn really having trouble with this defense. Gets him in position. This is not going to end well for him, Michael. This is going to hurt. Oh, side slam from the... Down with the side slam. The challenger not looking good right now. Yeah. Oh, no, not again. And we all know that no good goes down when the lights go out. He's got the answer for that one. Someone's about to have a really bad night. Counter! And now there's an opening! Finn gets stopped in his tracks. Hammerlock applied. Lost Sid out, Spybuster. Balor's lost momentum here. Finn is being worked on heavily. He's looking to cause some destruction with that table. I say bring it on. Missed timing with that springboard. He turns it around. Yeah, he's getting some newly determined focus. He's got a plan for that table, and it does not involve a dinner party. Looking to give as good as she's gotten so far in this matchup. This could change the whole match. From the heavens, he's through the table. He's entered a state of distress now. Yeah, the defects in this game are leaving him vulnerable. Yeah. Yeah. Elbow drop. I think the crowd knows what we're about to see. Oh, the backstabber. The champ will stay champ. champion truly solidified himself as the leader of the black and yellow brand. He faced long odds tonight, but our champion did everything it took to survive another day. And if you're getting a victory like that, you gotta be feeling pretty good about yourself. They're a club for losers. Finn Balor can join after that performance. Yeah, the Sax Club.